How to use tabs. Tabs are indentations. When you hit the tab key on your keyboard, your cursor moves to the right, like this. To get back, I simply need to hit the delete key. There are many different types of tabs, left, center, right, decimal, and bar. To set tabs with the ruler, you need to find the icon on the far left side of the horizontal ruler, right here. Select the tab of your choice, click on the ruler where you want to position it, towards the bottom, and to preview, hit your tab key. See my cursor automatically went to the tab. To delete this tab, all I need to do is click on the ruler where the tab is, click, hold, and drag to the empty page. That was the left tab, so now we'll try center tab. I select that and click three inches on the bottom of the ruler. Now when I hit tab, it automatically goes there. And when I type, it automatically centers my text. To delete this, click, hold, and drag the tab. Now let's try our right tab. I'm going to position this at three inches. And when I hit the tab key, my text goes over there. To delete, do the same thing as before. A decimal tab aligns numbers around a decimal point. No matter the number of digits, the decimal point will be in the same position. So to do this, we're going to go over to our tab icon, select decimal, and place it at 3 inches. Now I'm going to tab over there. I'm going to type in 0.33. Now when I hit enter and tab over and do 3.33, you see my decimals in the same position as the top one. Enter, tab over. 33.33, same place, and we'll do 333.333, decimal is still in the same place. A bar tab inserts a vertical bar at the tab position. This does not position your text. So if I hit enter, go to my tab icon and hit bar and place it at one inch, a bar is inserted but my text will not go there.